and that reminds me to uh, tell everybody to check out findaspring.com. You've probably heard it from Daniel Vitalis, but uh, it's honestly probably the most useful, when you really get down to it, the most useful website on the internet, finding good quality spring water and I mean the best water that you could ever want to buy, you get it for free. So it's just uh, an amazing source and it's wild water, it's, it's never been through a plant, I mean like a factory, it's never been cooked or UV'd or anything like that, sterilized, chlorinated, fluoridated, it's real water the way we're supposed to drink it, so that's findaspring.com and you'll love it, you'll love it, you'd be surprised how addictive it becomes. We're actually in uh, Cape Town, South Africa in a suburb of Newlands and uh, Table Mountain is right up that way and the water is coming from from the aquifer within that mountain and it's getting pumped out and this is just some really amazing water so be sure to check it out on findaspring.com and you'll see it, it's the Newland Spring, there's some other ones, there's springs all over this mountain and it's the best water you can drink. Alright, cheers. Yeah, you can really feel it and I've known a lot of people in this scene, the health food scene, for a long time and they said that when they drank spring water, it was the most profound change. They could really feel the difference. They, could, they felt lighter and more clear the next day. The spring water was instant. So check that out. Check that out for sure. It's findaspring.com. Uh, I'm just on my way back home and just making up a fill. I'm actually in Cape Town right now at the Kirstenbosch uh, Botanical Gardens and it has been really an amazing place to visit and I noticed that there's a little stream flowing through the, through the entire garden and I knew that being the peak of summer, it's not rainwater, it's not snow melt, it's definitely coming from a spring and what I found further up the hill was this uh, spring right here and it's coming up in the back corner of this pool and they built this I think around a hundred years ago and this collects the water and then when it gets to a certain height it travels down this little irrigation tube area and then waterfall and then down to the rest of the garden. So it's just really nice to kind of get in touch with that, you know, seeing, seeing the water running and knowing that there's got to be a spring because there's mountains all around us up here. And I dipped my cup in there and I was looking, but I saw like a lot of little things floating in there, so I really didn't want to take a chance, but it's just really cool to be in this beautiful shaded spot and seeing this lovely spring here and just feeling that good flowing energy. And if you can see this right here, they even talk about it. They say it's good to drink, and I think it would be if I could get it right out of the of the crack but they have it collecting in this pool so there's I saw a tadpole swimming in here and all other all other kind of little critters so you gotta be kinda careful I, uh, I could take it home and boil it but there's a good spring actually maybe about a mile from here that I've that comes right out of a pipe and it's perfect so you can find this spring and many more at findaspring.com And then just this, cho this chocolate persimmon, a big one. And then the curry squash seeds are those. Everybody, my little piece of paradise. Grow your own. Some little wasps and bumblebees and honeybees and all kinds of things are just all over these currants. And look how numerous the flowers are. It's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful.